per percussion team heads to College Station this Saturday to compete in state competition. 25 News Now reporter Adam Seibel was there for rehearsals, and he's live in our studio. Adam? That's right, Don. Now, this is the first time in Victoria history that an indoor percussion team is competing at this state level, and this team has only been around for a few years. The Victoria West Gymnasium was filled with the claps of cymbals and the snaps of snare drums while bass reverberated throughout as the Victoria West indoor percussion team heads to Texas A&M for the state competition this Saturday. After placing first in regionals, they qualified to compete for a state title, the first time in Victoria history. Percussion band director Matthew Lorick says it was the students' drive which made this happen. And then I see them constantly practicing, constantly coming up with new ideas. Most of the, chor the choreo that you see, the students have created themselves. So it's a, it's a very you know student-inclusive group, and they've really bounced off, beat off of each other. It's, it's just... And they've grown so much just working with each other, and I've never seen this level of growth within the last three years that I've been here, so I'm very proud of all the hard work they've been doing. Sometimes it can take school teams years to even compete at a state level. And well, for the Victoria West Indoor Percussion Team, it only took a few years because this organization started in 2020. This brand new organization already went through a global pandemic, but they didn't let that stop them from competing. Cole Elliott is a senior and says that teamwork is a critical component of this organization's success. My favorite part is just being able to get together and do this all together and win as a team. Not only did the students have to memorize their music, they also choreographed the entire show, taking the creative lead on putting this show together. It's something that's taken hours of practice and dedication. Emily Vera is a sophomore and says that the pandemic fueled their drive to be their best. I think it's definitely the drive that we have now and we miss that feeling of being able to go do things because of COVID. So I really do think that it was the drive of that and of course our amazing teacher Mr. Lorick definitely pushed us a lot more than he did our first year and it was, it's been great. They'll head to College Station to compete Saturday, and with them making history just by qualifying, they hope to make even more history by placing first and bringing home some hardware. Reporting in Victoria, Adam Seibel, KABU-TV 25 News Now.